everyone was really sleepy, but we were really excited for what was about to come. Um, all we took was hand luggage with the most necessary items that we were going to need for the trip. And um, But actually, we ended up having to have our luggage checked because the flight was full and there were too many people for our, for our bags to come along with. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later, we arrived to our first destination, Champino Airport. We waited for the luggage and took off to a bus to Central Rome. This is us waiting for the luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we got on the bus and we, we got dropped off at the Termini station. And the first thing we, we did was obviously find a place to leave our luggage because we didn't want to carry it around all day since we were wa we were waiting for the other group to arrive later at night. Um, we ended up eating a uh, cheap three euro greasy pizza um, at a, a small food shop with a, a worker who didn't know just how to speak any English. So it was our first first challenge of the day to try to communicate. Was the pizza good? Caserta. Um, yeah. So we went to the palace of Caserta and we visited the, the park. So the first thing we visited was the park. This is the, the main entrance to, to the park. Uh, the park uh, has three kilometers. And it's full of Roman statues, many of them. Here is the, the second, the fountain of Iolus. Um, uh, that represents the god of the, of the wines. Adorning this fountain and uh, representing the scene when Venus is flying, imploring Adonis to don't go hunting. And if you go up the two staircases, uh, you can see from behind uh, three uh, statues. Mm -hmm. On the middle, it's um, the king um, riding a lion, symbolizing power again. Uh, on the uh, on the right, you can see um, Truth stepping on the world and pointing at the sun. And to the left, you can see um, uh, Faith, I believe, with a sword and a book. Um, after uh, stepping out from the entrance, this is the ceiling. Um, it's a fresco. Um, the hook and it's, um, it symbolizes religion. Then here we have the chapel. Um, the chapel was actually destroyed during a bombing in the Second World War uh, by the Americans uh, and it was heavily restored afterwards. Uh, you can see on the pill things that we found in the castle that we found. An interesting uh, snooker table with the painting of one of the royal um, various subjects, arts, uh, music, sciences, geography, all sorts of things. Um, and that's the end. <laughs> so, uh, for me, the end of the art, uh, the art it's like having a machine. You understand. You understand. It's like having a sheet to, to Lisbon. It's not right in the middle of Lisbon, it's like uh, 30, 30 minutes drive, 30 kilograms. It, it, it's close. But Lisbon it's always up and down, uh, and near the river it's all plain. But in Naples it's the, the opposite. And, well, this is Vesuvio. It's a huge volcano. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Sorry? Okay, so on this 
Yes. You didn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because we had a very good time. Because you slept like a baby. Uh, <laughs> you were eating palm years all night. So, <laughs> 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 the teacher is screaming. Sorry. Thank you. 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 So anyway, we got on the bus and the first place we visited that day was the city of Herculana, the more specifically the museum that that talks about the history of that city and what happened to it. And it shows a lot of, a lot of pictures that are reconstructions. Sorry, <laughs> um, On the last day, we went to Vaticano. Uh, this is a picture of us all together in the uh, dabbing, having fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're not all of us on the Uh, we had to walk a little bit to get to the Vatican. 